In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the points of intersection between a line and a parabola. The question reads, find the point of intersection for these two equations. So we'll start with A. The first thing you want to do is make these two equations equal to each other. The good thing is that in both of these examples, we have Y isolated. So we have Y is equal to on the left side. Sometimes you'll get an equation where that's not the case, so you need to make sure that Y is isolated. So by making this equation and this equation equal to each other, we can start the process. I have 3x plus 2, that's this equation, is equal to that equation. Negative 4x squared plus 3x plus 6. Now at this point, all you have to do is solve for x. And there's always three possibilities. Either you get two points of intersection, one point of intersection, or no points of intersection. Let's see what happens. I'll bring all the terms to one side. So I'll take this term and that term to the right side, where I have 0 is equal to negative 4x squared plus 3x plus 6 minus 3x. Notice that that became negative 3x. And the same with positive 2 becoming negative 2. We'll collect like terms and combine. So this and that will come together. Positive 3x minus 3x makes 0. Technically, we got lucky here because sometimes after combining the x terms, you don't get 0, but instead some other number. In that case, you would have to use the quadratic formula to find the x values following this step. In fact, you'll see that in example b. So I'll just cancel them out. 6 minus 2 makes positive 4. Now we have negative 4x squared plus 4. We have to solve for x. And for that, I'll bring that positive 4 over. It becomes negative 4 is equal to negative 4x squared. Dividing both sides by negative 4 to isolate for this x. So by dividing both sides by negative 4, this negative 4 and that negative 4 cancel out. And negative 4 divided by negative 4 makes positive 1. So positive 1 is equal to x squared. Square rooting both sides, this will eliminate this exponent of 2. And the square root of 1 makes plus minus 1. This means that we will have two points of intersection. I'll take plus 1 and minus 1 and substitute them into this equation to get their corresponding y coordinates. y is equal to 3 times negative 1 plus 2. And y is equal to 3 times positive 1 plus 2. Let's answer both of these. 3 times negative 1 makes negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. Our two points of intersection are 1 and positive 5. And the other one is negative 1 and negative 1. A graph of these two equations are shown on your screen and notice their points of intersection match what we found algebraically. If you still need more assistance in this topic, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I will gladly upload the video to part two.